review and this is what I'll be opening in this video. I didn't think about doing it in separate videos but I'm gonna really backlog if I do every single figure I need to open in one video. So, <clears throat> as you can see this is from the anime that time I got reincarnated as slime. This is the Otherworlder series. Uh, this is volume 5 and volume 10 because uh, they came out in the uh, batches. So like, I guess volume 5 would be these two because they came out together. I only got Benny Maru this time. And for this one, I only got Veldor. I was tempted to get him as well, but it was that time where I uh, was returning uh, doubles that I accidentally put in my previous order. So I got this figure then, and a different figure. But that's in a different video because that is a different anime. So, <clears throat> this is Veldor's human form. This is obviously Benny Moore's Keijin form. So as you see, they do, as I mentioned in a previous video, when I did Veldor's dragon form, they spell his name with an R because, or R-U, because the sounding, because that would sound like an L, because they don't have an L in the Japanese alphabet. So, obviously normal Bandai, Banpresto, yep, that's, so, so. let's uh, get to opening it, shall we? Let's do a Veldora first. I'm guessing they shouldn't have too many parts, because they seem to be pretty basic figures. So it shouldn't take up too much desk space, because after I open these and a couple more, I'll be able to have space to put them in my cupboard. Because I uh, cleaned over there slightly. <laughs> slightly. Um, I'll still need to clean some more, but yes, I'm finally opening these figures out of the. So far, I've only opened one, two, three out of like the. I don't know, 13 or something that I have. That I haven't opened yet. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's it. Let's stick to it. Okay, so I put this camera in the corner so I'm not actually looking at it through the screen. So if I get off uh, off screen, that's why. <laughs> so hopefully you can see what I'm doing. It just says the uh, Check out more information here, Ben Presto official website, and uh, Ben Presto official Facebook is on that side. Then on this side is the uh, Ben Presto official Instagram and Ben Presto official WeChat. Obviously, that's Chinese. Uh, Chinese people, or those who have a Chinese phone number. Right. Okay. That's a cardboard. Yeah, this is actually pretty useful cardboard, actually. I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> but anyway, so... We'll just put the little door in the back. Out of the way. Because I need space. Oh, he's actually in a couple parts more. Oh, there's a headless little door out in that. Um, tiny bit disconcerting. Yes. Perfect. So, Set his head separately over here, torso, waist down, his cape, and the stand. So, let's roll it up like this so I can cut it all at once. Saves time. Pretty basic. Just says Bandai Spirits made in China on the bottom. That's you know basic black stand. Ooh. Very nicely painted cape. 
There it is. Very lovely details on the ruffles. I can see the wind moving. And a little, uh, I guess you could say it's like one of his dragon scales or something. As a pin to hold the cake together. That's my guess anyway. Oh, he got his, his waist down. So let's just put him on there, shall we? Can you see what I'm doing? Is this the right one? I hope it's the right one. So, is it in? I think so. It's not going to go down any further. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Okay, now it's in. Yes. So there is a... Okay, so here is his torso. And his gloves. You know, if I didn't see the bottom part, it would look like a naked figure, wouldn't it? Very nice eight pack as well. <laughs> so let's put him on the rest of his body. Yep. So there we go. Now we just need to do the head and the cake. So draw the head out and recycle that. And I still missed. Okay, so let's put the cape bit on. So just slot it like this. There it is. So slight, um, slightly annoying that the paint isn't quite right since it's got a red or a slightly pink. Well, I guess it's not really noticeable from far away, maybe, but so that's slightly annoying. Because obviously it's not supposed to have pink there. It's like it's a pink dot. I don't know if you can actually see it in camera, but so, I guess it doesn't matter that much. But still, it is, you know, collector's purposes, it is annoying. So let's put his head on. you down all the way. There we go. And we have finished Mildora. Very simple figure. Very nice. So he goes very well next to his dragon form, though he does in this figure look a bit taller than his dragon form. Maybe that's just because of the stand down. Mm, yeah, he, he looks... Well, obviously, his dragon form is way taller. You know, common sense-wise. So, now let's open Benny Maru. So let's move this out of the way. It's the same on the inside as well. Yeah, social medias. Oh, when you look and you see a headless anymore, isn't that? <laughs> there, he's mostly put together. I mean, his, his body is one. One piece. That's nice. So, let's just temporarily put that there. Since I have no space to keep the boxes, I'm actually going to. Yeah, got it. Cut up the uh, the four sides that I need, and stick it in my scrapbook with the other bit. Yeah. Three parts. 
I've got a sword, a base, head, and a body. Very nice, I don't have to put them together. <laughs> you see his sword goes at the back. Let's show you without plastic. These scissors aren't very good. I have to keep a different set over here. Okay. Okay, so same as last time, just says Bandai Spirits made in China on the bottom. I mean, I'm guessing that looks on the feet, it goes this way. Like, I love this. <laughs> so let's show you this without. Slight mark on the butt behind leg, so slight stray paint. Slightly annoying. But anyway. Very nice kimono style. So let's let's put them in. Ooh. The move. Anyway. Let's put him in. Are you down? Yep. So here is the body. Now let's put the head on. Under that in the recycling box. That's nice. Okay, so yes. On the thing it shows it's supposed to be more further away. Like, you know, like there. But it keeps on moving towards each other. Anyway. The head. His hair is very spiky. Very good detail. I never actually said, but very nice gradient on Vildor's hair, too. But, see, very spiky and pointy. His horns look, to be honest, his horns look off to the side, but I think he's putting his head to the side, so maybe that's why. Anyway, let's, let's put him in. Okay. So he's all in one piece. Yay! Now let's put his sword on. Which way did it go? Okay. So. This way. Oh, well, I see, there's only one way you can go. <laughs> the. goes one way. Do I just need more force? Well, I guess I just need more force. Hopefully it doesn't fall off. If it does, it needs to be not be happy. There we go. Push it in with your thumb on that one. 
I still got an indent on my phone. Anyway, very nice. So, well, I guess in the end I probably should get at least one of each character, you know. Collector and he says I got it. <laughs> but like, for instance, on some things I just let my favorite characters, which, you know, include Benny Maru, Maldor, and I do have a... What's his name? Diablo. Two of Diablo, actually. That I bought. Um... Hmm. It probably, Benny Maru would probably need to be near the back so his sword doesn't get caught in anything when I place him in the cupboard. But anyway, very nice. Be nice if these bases that they put with them were more interlocking than just, you know, circle, oval, or just having them stand on their own, because, like, the bases take up space. But anyway, very nice. And as you see, I don't know if you can tell, but the gradient One little door is very nice. I don't know if you can tell in this light, but there is a very nice gradient on him. The main part that I was really annoyed about was like those two bits there. Obviously not where it's supposed to be, but the rest of him is very nice. It shows he's got an apex on his dragon form too. But I can't really tell where. That looks more like six pack though, doesn't it? Unless, it? unless this part counts as well. Not that I know dragon anatomy. And here we go. Close up with Benny Moore. I really like his Japanese kimono style. He got after he uh, evolved into a keychain. Because it's very cool. Though in the picture it should be more over, you know, like this, but it doesn't matter. Very nicely pleated. Bottom trouser parts. <laughs> it has a name, I forgot. Look at the hair, it's so spiky. Very nice. So. This adds to the ones that I've put together so far. So I've got a few more. Then I'll need to actually sort out that covered part because I'm pretty sure I can fit most of them there. I fit all the boxes in there. Well, most of them. Ish. I still got more boxes down in a different box. But anyway, yes, very, very lovely, it is cool, but anyway, so thank you for watching, like, so, oh, I never actually said where I bought this one, did I, did I, but let me just, I bought it from my favorite store to go into, Forbidden Planet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do obviously go check out ForbiddenPlanet.co.uk or .com because Forbidden Planet is, as it says, international. So, do go check on it, I guess. Thank you for watching, like stuff more, ring the door for notifications, go ahead.